Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Viking Conquest, the Lottery Campaign on Kogata Gaming. In the last episode we conquered Norwich. And we're now off to chase down some more Danish Vikings for we have to increase our army size and these guys are exactly the bunch we are looking for. And after we've replenished our numbers, we're going to take down the last stronghold of the East Anglian Kingdom. Well, I'm wondering for us, oh, I'm afraid you will fight now. You know you are talking to you, I will kill you if you join me. We will consider your offer if you bet it by 10,000 pennies. What? You are just playing crazy? Uh, no, we're actually going to leave. Do we have too many prisoners, maybe? Army size is too big, no? I, I do not know, we have enough money. Um. Yeah, we are over our prisoner cap for some reason. And that's because I think it's blocking us. Well, either way, we're just returning to Dunwich. We will capture these guys, we'll catch up with them, and then we will increase our forces. No biggie, I don't want to fight them, there is no reason to fight them, they are our reinforcements. We need those guys. We have lost a couple of thousand men in the last battle. And that is the quickest and easiest way to replenish your numbers. Therefore, oh, careful. This vendor truly has no money whatsoever. And this one either, and this one either, and do it. Yeah, you have some money. So let's actually sell. Well, let's actually keep the jewels. They're too valuable. When I get some slots, some inventory slots at least, uh, yeah, I want to keep the dry meat. We do have to feed a large army. The beef is okay to sell because it will rot anyways. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's check out the meat hall. If there's somebody willing to join. And yes, there's some Germanic mercenaries. Hey, what do you want? We're drinking. You seem somebody strongly accustomed to hard life, interested in recruiting you, me and 40 men. All right. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Now let's actually uh, go to the harbor and sell off some prisoners. Because if I'm not mistaken, we should have uh, built a slave trader now. Well, I could be mistaken. I haven't sold slaves in a while. And I'm actually not quite certain where the slave trader is in Dunwich. Huh. Yeah, well, there's a fellow over there. I guess that one is the slave trader over there. Should be. Because we need the extra money and we need to get rid of the slaves, they're piling up in our prisons and we could use the extra income. We did make quite a lot of money in the last episode, about uh, 25,000, something like that. Uh, captured two caverns, we ransacked Norwich. So we did make a lot of money, but we need a lot of money as well to increase our numbers. No, there is no slave trader here. Wh where is the slave trader? Huh. Well, that's a good question, isn't it? There is a... F oh! Oh, by the way. Good that I remember. Right, we need to fix our wounds. We are heavily wounded. We have two wounds, in fact. And uh, there is the physician. My goodness, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, there you are. Oh, well, what do you need? I need some treats, some tend to my heavy wounds. Okay, I think that should fix both, I guess, in one time. Hmm, let's actually manage this town. Oh, no, 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 we don't have a slave market yet. My bad, my bad. We were actually looking for a ghost in that case. We we're just building it. It takes so long to build it. And yeah, we, we pile piling up the, the prisoners in here. I guess. Well, we have no choice about that. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's take some Northmen with us. Uh, let's actually recruit some more men here. 
Um, let's actually look at them. Um, yeah, that's fine. We don't have to worry about the garrison really because we're taking care of East Anglia once and for all. Therefore, there will not be a threat to our holdings, no matter how many men we have in here, because Mercian and Wessex are currently at peace with Northumbria, therefore there is nobody going to attack our beloved holdings. And we can focus on the task at hand, which is, first and foremost, we have to find these Viking guys again. Well, they're usually patrolling around the coast area around Norwich. And let's see if we can actually... Oh, they're actually behind us. <laughs> well, that is funny, isn't it? Damn you, stop it! 4.4, are we? Yeah, we are faster. We're still faster despite all large army. Thanks to our awesome pathfinding skills. We'll catch up with them. And by the way, that's pretty much the right direction. We need to go over there. Uh, no, not Oxenford. Uh, uh, there is the castle. Right. To the northwest. Stop running to the southwest. We need to go northwest. Stop you, damn it. And there's a brand new castle. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, do you know who you're talking to? We consider you offer... Well, whatever such trifle spoiler friendship. Welcome to my army. And there we go. Close to 50 men extra to our great ranks. And some idiot looted Grantaham. You fool! Bloody fool! I know who it was, this stupid lord we met last time. This is going to be our village before long, because now we are headed to the last East Anglian stronghold. Which is about to fall. Hold on. Who be Ragnarsson was defeated? Who are we at war with? Uh, no, we look at the kingdom, right. There it is. We are at war. Alban! Oh, yeah, right. They must be fighting in the north. I was just thinking, what the hell? Where did this guy get defeated? Yep, they're fighting Alban. And there you see the last strong stronghold of East Anglia, Randbury. And there is the element Oswald in there. You may remember him from uh, the last kingdom. That's the same guy. 700 men. Uh, they have 300 light infantry, a couple of skirmishers, 140 peasants. Oh. Yeah, 62 swordsmen. So about 70 men have infantry, the rest is just rubble. Okay, we, we will take it. We'll take it. We'll take them down. Uh, we're going to besiege the castle. We're preparing your assault. We're not messing around. We are going for frontal assault, of course. The only proper way to take a castle. Especially when we are outnumbered 2 to 1. <laughs> By the way, let me actually uh, increase the battle size a little bit. It's always a, um, a thing, you know, a balance thing. If you put too many, if the battle size is too large, I will have a hard time actually getting into the city and the game may actually crash. It's very prone to crash if the battle size in the siege battles is too large. But we should be fine. All right, there we go. Let's go for it. Yeah, 145 against 164. So we're pretty much evenly matched on the numbers. And yes, the walls are packed with their men, so we will have a hard time getting in there. Actually, reaching the walls maybe be a difficult task. They have a lot of javelins coming away. Well, no matter what, we're going to take this fortress. Charge!
That's it. Ends. We got them already. Give me more. Progress. Made a lot of progress. All right, the walls are ours. Where are they coming from? From back there. Okay. In that case. Into the breach. This is looking good. All right. Where is everybody? Let's gather up and let them come to us. And charge into them. So they will come triple in with affirmation and we have numerical superiority at the wall. Especially if we cut down the reinforcements. Yep. They are going down. Kill them all! No prisoners! Well, actually, do take prisoners. We need the money. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Watch out for the spears. Oh crap, our shield is about to collapse. That's a meat rider if I ever saw one. Oh, we have to be careful. We're pretty heavily wounded already. That's it. Got them where we want them. A close quarter fight against our heavy infantry. And we on the flank. Destroying them! Oh shit! Bastards! Got us again!
All right, we got them. We got it. We got this. We take one health loss from blood loss. That's not good. So we are going to lose consciousness before too long. So we have to wrap this battle up real quick. I'm gonna take the castle in one thing soon. I'm gonna mess around with this. We have to hurry. We do have to hurry. Come on, guys. Final push. We got it, we got it, okay. Worst thing that could happen, we lose consciousness and there's like, like three or four guys left, so that's not a problem. Where are they? Come on, finish. Damn it! Ah, oh, perfect timing, perfect timing. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we have two face injuries actually still, interestingly enough. Uh, we lose 38 man, that's a lot. Oh, you're my prisoner now. And there we go, the last East Anglian stronghold has fallen. Bloody fight, but we managed to take the fortress in one clean sweep. We share the loot. Conquer the fort with a bit blundering. Request grant over to you, of course. We've taken it, we want it. If we get it, it's a completely different story, of course. Well, well, we finally did it. There is no East Anglian place left to conquer. We do have. I do believe pretty much everybody locked up in prison, including a king. So we're going to return to Doomwich, take care of the wounds. And then, I guess, prepare for the invasion of Duntaro. In the meanwhile, we do hopefully get some more castles. After all, there's Hegelzidon still to be given away, Grandbury still be to be given away, uh, Norwich still to be given away. So we shall see who is going to receive the other castles. Yeah, the faction of King of East Anglia is eliminated officially. There we go, we did it. It's official. The kingdom has been destroyed. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Yeah, there is still flat bro, so we're not going to sell anything here. Uh, let's actually uh, visit the meat hall. Maybe there is a prison uh, a ransom broker. No, you were a bard. Yes, you were a bard. Well, we do have to take care of our wounds. Ah, that fleece feels quite nice, doesn't it? Was quite a war. What a war, one city, four fortresses. I can't even count the battles, at least two dozen field battles, I think. But we managed to do it. East Anglia is taken out. We do have a stronghold here in the southern region, the southeastern England region of uh, England, which will serve as our power base. Base of operations for future operations against the Picts in the north and, of course, against Frisia in the coming future. That is for certain. If we're lucky, we do actually get more castles. Like I said, there's always still three castles left to be um, given away by our current liege lord, the Alhazdan. So we are looking forward to that. 
I need to tap on my heavy bones, and here we go. You are a quite tall woman, I dare say. Oh, this is actually quite, <laughs> quite large. I feel a little small here. Uh, goodbye. Let's actually go back to her and just to check out. Now we. I'm not certain if she did care take care of all the wounds. I'm a little bit suspicious. On face. Okay, it will heal. No, it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. It's everything is found. We definitely don't want to lose the charisma. We need that for our leadership and persuasion. Okay. Um now we have to, to reassess our situation. How do we look? I think we're going to lay low. And by meaning lay low, I mean we're going to uh, put on all our prisoners here, first and foremost. We do have a ton of lords imprisoned. At least five, I believe, including the king. Yep, there's the king. We could actually steal their stuff if we want to. Eh, maybe I'll think about it. We could steal their equipment. But uh, first and foremost, let's upgrade our army. We did lose a lot of men in these battles. We did recruit a couple. Now we're going to put away uh, pretty much all our main uh, forces for the time being, for we are going to do a little bit free roaming, you know, uh, heal our wounds, sell some stuff, and in general reassess the situation, let, you know, the dust settle basically, because uh, we have to prepare for the next coming task, which is going to be war against Alban, and for that I think it is a good idea to, to actually, yeah, take it easy for a little bit, prepare properly. We have to reassess our fleet, see if we actually have enough fleet power to, uh, to transport all our troops. Because we, if we go north, uh, we have to go in full force, preferably with 400 men or more. Because this is going to be a challenge. Taking the castle will be one thing. But holding it for three weeks is a completely different story. Cannot. After consulting with the peers of the realm, the Alhaftan Rangs decided to confer Hegesedun to Hiserkund Knutr. Okay, so we didn't get Hegesedun. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Well, guess we have to take it back then. In the future. Uh, not an issue with that. No problem. So first and foremost, let's sell all this crap. And then, oh yes. A little bit more money. We may actually want to recruit some men here and there. Uh, we may want to... Yeah, probably wizard our fortress, or second fortress. Then we shall see. Get off, got us a moment. Heal our wounds and a prepare our fleet. Then we shall continue with our mission. Let's see, is Randlesham our village or not? No, they belong to no one. <laughs> That was an insider. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, but we still have a fortress. We do have a fortress, which is going to help us, of course. Especially because we don't have to pay the upkeep for the garrison. There is hardly anybody in here. Yeah, we're actually going to take a sword on it out here. Uh, and we managed to fort. Uh, we could build a smithy, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. We'll increase the income. That's fine. Ask for potential recruits. Some angle, shieldman. Oh, we need that. We don't want that. Good. 
Very good. Very good indeed. Yeah, we may actually wait here in Dunwich for a while. Uh, Healer Wounds, prepare the fleet, see if we can capture a caravan or two. You know, the usual, usual stuff. Off, off campaign uh, time, for the time being. We have 470 men. So yeah, we, we do want to recruit more men, that's for certain, because we're going to lose a lot of men. A lot. <laughs> and we actually want to check out the fleet. We do have one boss. Uh, a snaker. Another snaker. Third snaker. And a second pulsar. Okay, so we have two pulsars and three snakers. That's 180 plus roughly 90. Yeah, so we can carry 270 approximately. Yeah, that's about right. Well, that's an issue. Yeah, we definitely need, we need more ships. We do need more ships. That's a not, not enough capacity. We should have at least 370, so we need at least one more busse. I do believe we are going to uh, go for a little bit uh, sea raiding. We may actually... Uh, want to check out uh, Denmark region, we want to check out Norway region. Maybe we can recruit some more men, uh, probably uh, from, from North Umbrian region. We basically, we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a mission along the coasts. Uh, we do have... Yeah... Just one quest basically open except for our main quest. So I do believe the, uh, the next step will be to, to do some sea raiding, see if we can capture more ships, make some money here and there, uh, because we do have a little bit of money, but that's not a lot. We need more. We need to be able to recruit men. Uh, we need to be able to upgrade the men. We need to improve, improve our domain. We'll see who gets the next castles. After all, there is still Norwich and Granbury to be given away. Uh, we, may, we may actually get that one. If not, well, we have to live with it. Uh, we do have to increase our fleet capacity. We need at least a Negat Busse. So we probably have to build one or buy one. Uh, because capturing one is hardly possible unless we do attack uh, um, a, warp, a warp party on the sea. And we're currently at war with whom exactly? Let's actually see. Uh, yeah, Alban. So, uh, we hardly ever see Alban on the sea. You may try to draw him out, possibly, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Unless we're lucky. So, I do believe we have to capture either a couple of snakers or we buy a busser. We have to get more fleet capacity. We have to make a little bit of money here and there. Basically prepare for a campaign north because I want to go there north uh, with a full host. Alternatively, we could uh, tear down our refuge, uh, which we have down here. We could tear that one down and build a new one up here. Which is a possibility I may entertain. It does have a tacti tactical advantage if we can hide our forces. Because the thing is, uh, if we take Dundaro, um, Alban is going to respond in force, that's for, qu that's for certain. And they're going to attack with probably a thousand men, probably more. So, uh, having a, a hideout is not a bad idea if we have to run. But, yeah, like I said, we're going to prepare. We try to do it in one clean sweep. And take it and hold it as long as necessary. And then we can finally complete this mission and continue with the storyline campaign. I guess that's that's the plan, pretty much. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we have our work cut out for us. We're going to continue in the next episode with the preparation for the campaign northwards. Um, let's give us, let's say, a month or two. And then we're going to launch the, the winter campaign in 
the picked lands, so to speak. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please don't forget to like, like the episode and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on this Let's Play and my other program on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.